Hello everyone, today we want to continue with our Firebase messaging app. Last time we created this app that our push notifications are shown inside the app and that we also get push notification in our system tray. And this time we want to add a new feature so that we can send messages from our app itself to other devices. If you haven't watched the first video where we have created this app here, I will put the link into the video description so you can watch it first. To continue with the app we go to the messaging widget and here inside we go to the build method where we have created this list view and here we have mapped all of our messages which are sent via the console to our device here. Now we want to display something more. First of all we want to add a new list and we add all of our messages behind our list of widgets so that our messages are shown below and now we want to create something. And inside we want to create two text form fields so that we can put a title inside and a body and also buttons so that we can click later send notification. And I will create here this method send notification and we also add this title controller and this body controller which I will put here. And I also set here an initial text like title and initial text body123. And after we hot restart our application it should look something like this. So we have here two input fields and one button. Now we want to go to our init state method and here before we configure our Firebase messaging we want to add something else. So here we put Firebase messaging subscribe to a topic. We can subscribe to a topic, in this case all or we can name it like we want to. And later in our Firebase console, we can then send to all the people who have subscribed to a specific topic this new message. So for example, we specify in the Firebase console then that we want to send it to all people. Now that we have subscribed in our app for the topic all, we go to the pub.lang.org webpage and type in Firebase messaging like we did in the first video of this tutorial. And then we go to the bottom of the page and here it says how we can send messages via the terminal or command line and I will just copy it and then I will copy it into an editor and it looks something like this. So let's look at what we got here. So first of all we got some data and here it is defined what we will send to our application. So for example we set your title and here's the title message then we set a body and a body message, priority can be set and here also which is really important the click action uh, which has to be this year which we defined in our Android manifest like we can see in the first video and the second line here is the scroll command where we make use of this data and we literally send the data to our Google APIs so that they send it to our application here. Like you can see we have here a key which we have to set and the other thing which we have to set is this to property. First of all we want to set the authorization key therefore we go to the Firebase console. Now we are here at the Firebase console in the cloud messaging tab like it was shown in the first videos so check it out if you are not familiar with the Firebase console itself and then we go here to the top to this settings and then to the project settings. And now we go to the cloud messaging tab and here we see something like a server key. So we can here click on this and copy the server key and now we have to put our server key which we have copied for this thing here like this. And now after we have put the authorization key into this curl command then we want to set this to property and I want to talk about two things which you can put here inside. The first thing is you can put here an individual key of the device. So you can send your message to a specific device. Therefore you need the key which I will show you later. And the other option is to set here a topic. That's what we want to do. So you have always to write something like this here. And after it you write your topic name. And in this case we want to write all because our application itself is subscribing to this topic. All right, now that we have set this data in this editor, we will copy this and then we will open the command line. And I will go here to the shell because curl is supported in my shell. So you can also download shell for your 
Windows operating system if you have one. Otherwise, if you have Linux, it is normally installed or you have to install it. Another thing we have to do, of course, we have to restart here our application. So make sure that you have restart your application. And then you go to the console again and then you can send your message. And like you can see, this message is sent to this device because this device has subscribed to this topic all and therefore it works. If we specify another topic which is not subscribed by this application, then the message wouldn't be sent to this device. Another thing is we can send it to a specific device and therefore we have to do some configuration. We need to get the key from our application here. So I added these two lines. First of all, we want to listen on the token. Every time we get a new token, then we go to this method, which we will create here. First of all, we listen to it, then we get the token, and then he is going inside this method here. So let's create this method. And now we don't get here an event, we get an FCM token. And what we want to do is here, we want to print this token on the console. And I named this method send token to server because you can here also make a request to your own server and send the FCM token, which you have got here from this application to your server. So the server knows it also and can then send push notification to this device. So if your application is, for example, with a login, then the server also knows to which user it belongs this FCM token. And then you can send it to specific users, for example, to your push notifications or to active users or how you want your application to execute. So I will keep it empty here, but it's your choice to implement it and send it to your server. And now after we have hot restarted this application, you will see this token on the console like this specified here. And now we want to copy this token. Make sure that you get here every letter so that you copy everything. And then we go here again to our editor. And like you can see here, we have here our two data where we specified our old topics and we will change it to our FCM token. And now if we copy this, then it will always send this data to this specific device who has this FCM token. In this case, it is also this application here. So let's do it again. And now you see that it has sent this message here to our device, which has this FCM token. So it's only sent to this specific device. Now that we have sent our messages over the terminal or our command line, it also says that we can, of course, send it via a normal HTTP request. Therefore, we want to create an API folder and then we add here a messaging file. Now we have here this class messaging and I have added here a client with which we will send our request later. And I have hard coded the server key here Normally you wouldn't do it, but just for test purposes, you can hard code the server key here inside. Here it is also again described how you get this server key. Now we want to import this client. So let's do it. And then we import this HTTP client. And the next thing I want to add here is the send to method. What we can then specify here is first of all, the title, the body and the FCM token. And I will also import this JSON. What we do here is exactly the same like what we did before. So we will send our request to this URL. So it is exactly the same URL here. Then we put all the data into our body. So here I copied simply all this notification, body, title is here inside and priority and so on, data. So everything is here inside. And also this two property, like we have set here before with this key. And I just set here this FCM token. And of course we have to set the authorization key. So I just set here the server key. Now I added here two general methods, which we can call. So one is we can send it to a specific topic. So we just have to specify a title, a body, and then the topic. And like you can see, we just specified the topics and then the topic is set. And with this send to all method, we will send the message to all people because we have specified here this topic all. And like I said before, if we go to messaging widget again to the top here, every application has 
this topic subscribed and therefore everyone receives this message. Now let's set it up for our device here. So we have here two inputs and we want to send to all this notification which we have specified here. Therefore we go to our messaging widget and here in our build method we will see that we have here our race button and on press this method will be executed and here inside we want to make use of our messaging API. So it is the API which we have written before and we will simply call this send to all method and we also have to add here async modifier and now we simply set here the title controller text which is the controller text of our first text field and we have also body controller which we set for our body. So we send this and then we get a response. Then we can for example optional check if our response code is sent properly. If it's not the case then we say here there's an error and put it to our snack bar. Let's test it. So I will hot restart our application and I just will change here a little bit the title something like this and now send notification to all and like you can see we have got this notification also on our device because it is sent to all devices and then also to our own device. If you have multiple devices then it will also be sent to these devices. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!